Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, today we will discuss our module 2. So last week din discuss natin yung tinatawag natin na infinite sequence where we had an infinite sequence of numbers. So this time din uh, and then hinanap natin yung limit. So this time hindi na lang natin hahanapin yung limit. Uh, we will consider finding the sum of those infinite sequence and we call that sum or we call the sum of an equal uh, we call the sum of an infinite sequence an infinite series, okay? So, suppose that we have a sequence of numbers A1 to AN. So, pag tinake natin yung sum nya, yung infinite series natin, we will get the following. So, A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3, etc. Hanggang kay A sub N, and so on, so forth. But, how do we deal, how do we find the sum of an infinite number of numbers? Okay, so we will consider what we call the partial sum. Okay, so kukunin natin si partial sum. What do we mean by the par partial sum? So for, first, titignan natin yung A1. And then, titignan natin si A1 plus A2. Okay, A1. And then, A1 plus A2 plus A3. And then, hanggang kay A4. Okay, then, titignan natin kung meron bang form, merong pattern na sinusundan yung partial sums natin. And then we will let n approach infinity. Eventually, siguro, if we're lucky, that limit of, the limit of the partial sums will approach the actual sum of the series. Okay? And then we denote the partial sum to be S sub n. Okay? So, yung S sub 1 natin, si A, si A sub 2, S sub 2i, A sub 1 plus A sub 2, and so on, so forth. Okay? Okay, for example, we consider the series. So, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 4 plus 1 8 plus 1 16. Okay. So, to, to find the sequence or to find the sum of the following series, kailangan natin i-consider yung partial sum. So, the first partial sum is sub 1 equal to 1. And then, we take the second partial sum which is equal to 1 plus 1 half. Okay. Which is equal to 3 halves. And then may kita natin na yung form niya ay 2 minus 1 half. Okay? Continuing the process, so tignan natin yung third partial sum. We will get 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth. Which is equal to 7 fourth. Or uh, we can write it as 2 minus 1 over 4. And then eventually, marirealize natin na mayroong pattern na sinusundan yung ating partial sum. We get uh, the nth partial sum or S sub n to be equal to uh, 1 plus 1 half hanggang kay 1 all over 2 raised to n minus 1. And now, ito na yung consider natin na general formula ng ating partial sum. So, to get the actual sum, we just let n approach infinity. Okay? Okay, so letting it n approach infinity so, ito magsisiro lang ito lalaki ng lalaki. So, meaning this one turns to zero. So, the limit of uh, S sub n as n approaches infinity since magsisiro to ay equal lang kay 2. Therefore, therefore, yung sum ng series natin ay equal kay 2. Okay? So, yun yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay? So, uh, do take note that not every finite number of not every finite sum of numbers in the sequence is equal to 2. Okay? Uh -huh. So, ang ginawa lang naman natin, define natin yung sum ng infinite sequence as the limit of a, the sum of, or partial sums. Okay? So, pwede rin natin siyang i-consider. So, meron as a number line. Okay? So, suppose meron tayong 1. So, di ba yung start ng limit natin ay 1 plus 1 half. So, kalahati ng remaining and then 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and then kalahati ulit nito, 1 sixteenth, plus half ulit nito, 1 over 32. Okay? So, papaliit ng papaliit yung ina-add natin na number until we reach the length, the total length of 2. Okay? So, yan yung graphical representation ng value natin kanina. Okay? So, we have the definition. So, given a sequence, uh, a sub n of numbers, an expression of the form, so we have the infinite sum of the terms of the sequence to be the infinite series. Okay? So, yung a sub n natin dito ay yung nth term ng series. 
Okay, and then the sequence S sub n defined by the following. So, S1, S2 hanggang kay S sub n, ang tawag natin ay sequence of partial sums. Ito yung uh, tinetake natin yung limit as n approaches infinity para makuha natin yung uh, sum ng infinite series natin. Okay? The sum, is, uh, the number Sn being the nth partial sum. Okay? Kung merong limit yung uh, partial sum natin, uh, yun yung kinoconsider na sum ng series natin. Okay? Uh, and then, similarly, if the sequence of partial sums of the series does not converge, we say that the series diverges. Okay? Okay, we can... Okay, so taking a look at figure 10.9, uh, we can take a look at the series as a rectangle. Ano? So yung rect sum of rectangles. Ano? For example, we have the first graph. So for uh, A1, uh, ang value niya ay 2. For A2, ang value niya ay uh, around this point. For A3, ito. Okay, so makikita natin na decreasing, ano? The series converges when the total area of the rectangles is finite. And then, kung titignan naman natin si example B, so yung, uh, yung rectangle natin ay ito. So, yan. And then, A2, nag-decrease naman siya unti. Okay, and then A6. Pero note that ang idinadagdag lang natin kay 1 ay 1 over N. So, eventually, liliit yung dinadagdag natin kay 1. Pero still, this is an infinite sum of at least 1. Okay, so meron tayong infinite. So, since yung area nito ay hindi nag-decrease to zero, okay, or in other words, unbounded siya, yung series natin ay uh, divergent. Okay? Okay, let us consider a special type of infinite series. We call this the geometric series. So, yeah, so ganito yung form ng geometric series. So, uh, we have a plus a times r plus a r squared, etc. Hanggang kay a r raised to n minus 1 and so on and so forth. Which can be written as the summation of a times r raised to n minus 1. n equals 1, sorry, n equals 1 ito. n equals 1 up to infinity. Okay? Wherein yung a and then yung r natin ay real fixed na real numbers. Okay? So number siya, no? And then a is not equal to 0. Okay, bakit A not equal to 0? E di kung A equal to 0, magsisiro lang to So, walang sense na itik yung sum niya. No? Okay? The series can also be rewritten as the following. So, summation of N equal, uh, A, R, raised to N. Uh, this time, para nag-re-index tayo. mag start tayo kay 0. And then, hanggang kay infinity. Okay? Okay, so actually meron tayong name dun sa R natin. So, we call R to be the ratio. Ano? So, if R is negative, uh, positive, we will have the following. So, we have 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth, etc. If R, so there's a possibility that R can be negative. Discuss naman na natin to Meron tayo ng tinatawag natin na alternating series. In the terms fluctuate between the positive and then the negative. Okay? So, we have 1 minus 1 third plus 1 ninth minus etc. Hanggang kay negative 1 third raised to n minus 1. So, in this case, yung r natin niya ay si negative 1 third and then si a ay 1. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, taking a look at the case where our ratio is equal to 1. Ano mangyayari doon sa sequence natin? Makakaroon lang tayo ng uh, a plus a times 1 plus a times 1 squared which is also equal to 1. So, makakaroon lang tayo ng sum ng n na a which is equal to n a. Okay? And then, what about the case when our ratio is negative 1? We will have the same case. Uh, magiging divergent pa rin yung series natin. Sir, bakit divergent? Eh, uh, alternating naman siya. Okay, mag alternate siya between A and 0. Kasi pansinin nyo dito, kung meron tayong negative 1, instead of 1, we will have uh, magiging ganito siya, no? magiging A. So, yung unang sum natin ay A. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng A minus A, which is equal to 0. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng A 
minus a plus uh, negative a or a ulit which is equal to a and then makakaroon tayo ng a minus a plus a minus a which is equal to 0. So, nag-fluctuate siya between a0, a0 which makes the series uh, divergent. Okay? Uh, and then we have the case wherein if r, if the absolute value of r is not equal to 1, then pwede nating i-determine whether convergent siya or divergent. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, we start with this one. So, we have s sub n to be equal to a ta, uh, plus a r plus a r squared plus etc. hanggang kay a, a r raised to n minus 1. So, yan yung ating nth partial sum. Okay? And then next, we multiply the equation both sides by r. So, kakaroon lang tayo ng uh, ganito, r times s sub n. Then, distribute natin si r sa right side. Kakaroon ng a r, a r squared, etc. And then, ito, mababawasan lang ng isa hanggang kay a r n. The next we're going to do is subtract the two equations. So, pag minusin natin to, kakaroon tayo ng s sub n minus ito r sub s sub n. Note that, pag pinag-minus naman natin yung nasa right side, meron mga magka-cancel. E r minus e r, ito, etc. Okay, and then, ang matitira lang actually sa uh, right side ay a minus e r n, which is equal to the following value. And then, factoring, okay, ilabas natin si s sub n both sides, and then sa a, dun sa left side, we will get the following equation. Okay, so, we will have a, we now have a formula for the partial sum that is dependent on a and on our ratio. Okay? We will have s sub n to be equal to a times 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. Whenever r is not equal to 1. Because take note that again, when our ratio is uh, equal to 1, okay, magiging n a lang siya, no? yung diniscuss natin kanina. And then, uh, hindi mag exist yung denominator natin. Okay? Okay. So, dito sa sum natin na to, magde-depend yung convergence ng ating series. Okay? So, we have that if the absolute value of R is less than 1. Okay? So, if absolute value of R is less than 1, so meron tayong mga function, ah, uh, mga fraction, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 third, and then if you raise that to n, as n approaches infinity, etong r raised to n na to ay magsi zero. And then we are left with a all over 1 minus r. Okay? Not that ito yung case na r is less than 1 ano. Okay? So meaning, yung partial sum pala natin, uh, pwede, nating uh, pwede nating mahanap whenever the absolute value of our ratio is less than 1. And, kabalik tara naman nito yung case wherein r is greater than 1. If the absolute value of r is greater than 1, then we have rn, r raised to n to, up, to be approaching infinity, okay? Which causes the series to diverge, okay? Uh, we put that into a formula no? or a uh, definition. So, if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then yung geometric series natin nagko-converge sa sum na a all over 1 minus r. And then, whenever uh, the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, the series divergence. Okay? Okay. So, we have here a caution. So, cautionary note lang naman siya. Uh, magagamit lang natin yung formula na a all over 1 minus r whenever our series is, starts with n equals 1. Okay? okay? So, kung yung series natin ay hindi nagsisimula sa n equals 1, pwede naman tayo mag-re-index. So, i-discuss natin mamaya kung paano i-re-index uh, para mag-start pa rin siya kay 1. Pero, uh, take note that mag iba yung value ng a natin at saka yung ratio natin when we do re-indexing. Okay? Mamaya na natin i-discuss. Okay, so we have here an example of a geometric series wherein a is equal to 1 and our ratio is 1 third. So, note that r is less than 1 third which is uh, less than 1, okay? Which means that our series diverges. Or, or sorry, our series converges. And then our sum is equal to A all over 1 minus R, which is, which is equal to 1 ninth or over 1 minus 1 third, which is equal to 1 six. okay? Next, we have the following series. We have the sum of negative 1 raised to N, okay? 
times 5 all over 4 raised to okay and then we have 5 minus so this series is equal to 5 minus 5 fourths plus 5 all over 16 eh, sir wala po tayong method ng pagsolve ng ganyang uh, klase ng series no? so what we do here is try to rewrite the series ano? so since merong both n pwede natin pagsamayin siya sa isang term magkakaroon tayo ng sum ng n equals 0 up to infinity ng negative 1 fourth uh, raised to n okay times 5 Okay, so take note that ito yung isa pang form ng ating geometric series, no? Okay, so meaning, since uh, ang R, ang A natin dito ay 5, and then si R natin ay negative 1 fourth. Which means that we can take the sum to be equal to A all over 1 uh, minus R, which is equal to positive 1 fourth, is equal to 4. Okay? Okay. Okay, now, now we have another example. So, you drop a ball a meters above from a flat surface. Each time the ball hits the surface after falling a distance h, it rebounds at a distance rh where r is a positive number less than 1. Okay, so find the total distance the ball travels up and down. Okay, so see figure 10. Okay, so what do we have here? So first we have, ang gusto nating hanapin ay yung total height ng up and down na trinabil ng ating ball. So ang unang height natin, meron tayong height na A. Okay, then sabi dito, uh, magbabounce back siya at A height. This one. Okay, so this one is the height uh, AR. Okay? Okay, e dalawang beses niyang itra-travel kasi pag nagtaas siya, Pababa siya, di ba? So, magkakaroon tayo ng plus 2AR. 2AR kasi dalawang beses niyang itra-travel. And then, next we have, uh, ito ay AR squared. Okay? Since dalawang beses niya ulit itra-travel, pagtaas at saka pagbaba, we have plus 2AR squared, etc. etc. Okay? So, taking the sum, we will get 2, or A plus 2AR plus 2AR squared, plus 2AR cube. Okay? So, this one is just a geometric series, no? Ito. Okay? This one is a geometric series with sum 2AR all over 1 minus R. Okay? So, plugging in the sum here, we get our sum to be A, plus, uh, a times 1 plus R all over 1 minus R. Okay? So, here we have a case where uh, if our initial height is 6, meters and then r is equal to 2 dirt we get the total distance traveled by the ball up up and down to be equal to 30 meters okay okay now we have an uh, we have a decimal that is non-terminating okay how do we express this decimal as a ratio of two integers actually pwede rin tayong gumamit ng infinite series Para dito. Okay, how do we do this? We take note that 5.232323 is just equal to the following value. 5 plus 23 over 100 plus 23 over 100 squared plus 23 over 100 cubed and so on. So forth. And this one, uh, this one actually is a geometric series with A equal to 1. Pag pinactor out natin si uh, 23, makakakuha tayo ng isang geometric series. Ano? Okay, factoring out 23 over 100, we get the following. 1 plus 1 over 100. And this one is a geometric series with A equal to 1 and R equal to 1 over 100. Thus, we can find its sum since R is less than, the absolute value of R is less than 1. Okay? So, we get the sum to be 1 all over 0 0.99 which is equal to 5 plus 23 over 99 which is equal to 518 over 99, okay? So now we have expressed uh, 5.232323 as uh, the ratio of two integers, okay? Okay, so now we find the sum of our telescoping series, uh, sum ng 1 all over n all over, times n plus 1. 
Okay, how do we do this? Take note that we can write uh, 1 all over n, n plus 1 as 1 all over n minus 1 all over n plus 1. You can verify this by combining these two values. Okay? Okay. So, magiging ganito na yung itsura ng partial sum natin. So, instead of summing 1 all over n times n plus 1, we take the sum of 1 over n minus 1 all over n plus 1. What does this do? Okay? So, nag-alter... Uh, pag ganito yung expression ng ating series, uh, meron mga terms na magka-cancel. Okay, so we have here, ito yung unang term natin, di ba? A1, ito yung A1 natin, and then ito yung A2. Magka-cancel yung second nito, itong one half, negative one half, and then yung one half, and then one third, okay? And so on and so forth. Ang matitira na lang eventually ay meron tayong one mine all over, one minus one all over k plus one. Okay? We now see that, so ito yung S sub K natin, no? yung partial sum na, finite na partial sum natin. Now, if we let K approach uh, infinity, so ito ay magsis, uh, lalaki ng lalaki, which means magsisiro to. Uh, therefore, our par partial sum will converge to 1. Okay? So we now know that the sum of uh, 1 or over N times N plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay? Okay, so yan lang rin sinabi. Okay, so now we have a method for determining the divergence of a series. And then we call this the nth term test. Okay, how does the nth term test? Uh, consider first the following example. So, uh, we have the series to be equal to uh, sum of n plus 1 all over n, which is equal to 2 all over 1 plus 3 halves plus 4 thirds. Hanggang kay n plus 1. Note that the series is a sum of numbers greater than 1. Okay? So, pag sinam mo yung mga numbers na greater than 1, malamang magiging mas malaki siya kay n. Okay? And then we take an infinite sum of 1s or something near to 1 that is greater than 1. mag approach tayo ng infinity. So, uh, yung series natin ay magda-diverge. Actually, one reason that a series uh, may fail to converge is that yung mga terms niya hindi lumiliit or nagiging non-degreasing. Ano. So, we'll establish a property here of convergent series. That is, if a series is considered to be convergent, meaning yung limit nung uh, a sub n natin must equal to zero. Okay? So, note that pag convergent, kailangan yung limit niya ay equal sa 0. Pero we're not saying that if the limit is equal to 0, convergent na yung series. Hindi ganun. Okay? Pag convergent, yung limit ay 0. Okay? To see why this happens, so let S represent the sum of the series daw. And then yung S sub N natin ay partial sums. When n is large, both, both s, s sub n and s sub n minus 1 are close to s. And then yung difference nila ay a sub n. Uh, sige, paano nakuha yung difference na a sub n? Note that s sub n is equal to this value. Tama. And then if we get s sub n minus 1, uh, magkakaroon lang siya ng hanggang kay a n minus 1. So, a sub n minus 1 is just equal to a1 plus a2 hanggang kay a sub n minus 1. Note that pag pinag minus natin itong a sub n minus a sub n, magkakancel to, ito, 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 hanggang kay n minus 1. Okay, and then ang matitira ay a n. Okay? Okay, more formally, we can write this as the following. So, a sub n is equal to s sub n minus s sub n minus 1. As we let n approach infinity, this one approaches s kasi nga convergent. And then this one also approaches s since convergent nga yung uh, series natin. Okay? Therefore, uh, a sub n will eventually approach 0. Okay? So yung limit ng a sub n natin ay 0. Okay? So we put this into a theorem. If the sum of a sub n n equals 1 up to infinity converges, then 
the limit of a sub n is equal to 0. Or similarly, a sub n approaches 0. Okay, and then we have here the nth term test for divergence. Okay, if the sum of a sub n diverges, okay, the sum of a sub n diverges if the limit fails to exist or is different from 0. Okay, so pag hindi 0 yung difference natin, or yung, pag hindi 0 yung limit natin, okay, malamang, divergent divergent siya no? okay so that is the nth term test for divergence okay <clears throat> so this one we have the sum of n squared uh, diverges because if you take the limit of n squared as n approaches infinity it will, it will also approach infinity similarly uh, n, n plus 1 all over n diverges because the limit of n plus 1 all over n as n approaches infinity is just equal to 1 and this is not equal to 0, so therefore our series diverges, okay? Uh, also, uh, the sum of negative 1 raised to n plus 1 does not, does not exist. Bakit sir does not exist? Kasi alam natin ito ay alternating series. So mag fluctuate lang siya between, what? Between 1 and negative 1. So papalit-palit lang siya nun. Okay, so pag kinuha natin yung sum nun, magiging 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1. Something like that. Okay? So nag flat fluctuate which means that the limit does not exist. Okay, so the sum of negative n all over 2 raised 2n plus 5 diverges. Because if we take the limit, uh, we will just get uh, negative 1. Paano nangyari yun, sir? Uh, pwede natin i-factor si n sa taas saka si n sa baba magkakaroon tayo ng negative 1 all over 2 plus 5 over n. So, magkakancel lang yung n natin and then if we let n approach infinity, ito magsisiro and then we are left with negative 1 half. Okay, kaya natin nakuha yung limit na negative 1 half which is not equal to 0. Therefore, by our, the nth term test for divergence, our series does not or our series diverges. Okay? Okay, now we have another example of a divergent series. This series diverges because the terms can be grouped into infinitely many clusters, each of which adds to 1. Okay, so we have 1 plus 1 half 1, apat na 1 fourth ay 1, and then 2n na 1 all over 2 raised to n ay equal ring kay 1. So we have an infinite sum of 1s. Okay? Okay, so stated here that the terms of the series form a sequence that converges to so actually, uh, yeah, ex this actually is an example of sums of har harmonic series, okay, which we will discuss in the next module. Okay, now uh, let's talk about combining series. Okay, since sum lang naman siya, so we have two sums and then pag sinam natin yan, makakuha pa rin tayo ng infinite sum, right? Okay, so actually we can convert or we can combine two infinite series. Okay, provided that pareho sila ng index. Ano. So please make sure that when adding two infinite series, pareho mag start tayo lagi sa n equals 1. Kung hindi naman nag start sa n equals 1, yung isang series nyo, pwede naman tayo mag re-index. Which we will discuss later on. Okay, so the sum of a n plus b n is just equal to the sum of a n plus the sum of b n. Okay? Similarly, the sum of a n minus b n is just equal to the sum of a n minus the sum of b n. Actually, parang nagpa-follow lang tayo ng limit rules. Ano? Tandaan nyo pa yan. So, the sum of the limits is the limits of the sums. Something like that. So, ganun din dito sa summation. Okay? And then, we have the constant multiple rule kung saan pwede tayo maglabas ng constant na nasa loob ng summation. Okay? Then we have the following uh, statements. Every non-zero constant multiple of multiple of a divergent series is still divergent. So pag minultiply mo pala yung isang divergent series ng maski anong number, or ma, hindi naman maski anong number. Okay, kailangan non-zero. Pag minultiply mo ng isang non-zero na constant yung isang divergent series, magiging divergent pa rin siya. Okay? Uh, 
In another case, uh, if we have two diverge, uh, if a n is convergent, and if b n is divergent, then yung sum nila ay kon, um, parehong magda diverge. Yung sum at saka yung difference nila ay magna, magda diverge. So bakit? Kasi we have here a big number, kasi nga divergent siya. Dagdagan mo lang siya ng isang constant, kasi nga convergent sa magiging divergent pa rin. Okay, then similarly, uh, convergent minus divergent, oh, since mas malaki yung minus mo, uh, magda-diverge pa rin siya. Okay? Remember that the sum can both, so sum to, no? So yung sum down ni AN at saka ni BN pwedeng mag-converge maski si AN at saka si BN ay divergent. Okay? Pag nag-sum ka ng dalawang divergent, pwede pa rin maging convergent yung series natin. And this is... Uh, This is shown in the following example. So, suppose we take an infinite sum of positive 1. So, yun yung a n natin. And then, we take an infinite sum of negative 1, which we call uh, sum of b n. Okay? Pag tinik, uh, both divergent to, no? Kasi ito ay magpa-positive infinity and ito ay mag-negative infinity. So, both are divergent. Pero pag pinag-add natin sila, sum ng a n plus b n will just lead to 0, which then converges to 0. Okay? So, we have the following example. So, find the sums of the following series. No? So, the sum of 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 all over 6 raised to n minus 1. Okay, we distribute uh, 6 raised to n minus 1 and get the following value. So, now we have two geometric series. Okay, so ginamitan lang ng difference rule. Pwede natin paghiwalayin yan. The sum of the difference is the difference of the sums. Okay? And then, meron naman tayong uh, alam naman natin yung sum nito by our geometric uh, formula. And then, ito rin merong sum. And then, simplifying, we get the sum to be equal to 4 fifth. And then, now we have this one. So, we use, we have the sum of 4 all over 2 raised to n and equals 0 to infinity. So, pwede natin ilabas si 4. And then, we will get uh, 1 all over 2 raised to n, which then again is a geometric series with a equal to 1. And then ratio to be equal to one half. Since our ratio is less than or equal to one, our series will converge to the following sum. Okay, so eight yung magiging sagot natin. Okay. Now we move to uh, adding or delete, uh, adding or deleting term. So ano bang ginagawa ng adding or deliver, uh, deleting term? Suppose that meron tayong infinite series and then dadagdagan natin siya ng few terms. Ano kaya mangyayari dun sa convergence or divergence ng ating series? We'll take a look at that. Okay, so it states here that we can add a finite number of terms to a series or delete a finite number of terms without altering the series' convergence. Okay? Pero since nagdagdag at saka nag-minus ta nag tayo, magbabago malamang yung sum ng ating series. Okay? Kung meron man siyang sum. Okay? So, if the sum of a n converges and the sum of, okay, if a n converges, then the sum of a n converges for any k greater than 1 and we have the following. Okay, so kung pinutol natin yung series natin hanggang kay, okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, let me state that again, if the sum of a sub n converges, then the sum of a sub n, n equals k up to infinity, will also converge for any k greater than 1. So, ano nangyari? Nagsimula tayo kay k instead of starting kay 1. So, meaning, pag binawasan mo yung series natin, uh, binawas mo yung uh, sum ng, ano ba yan, a n, uh, n equals 1 hanggang k minus 1. So, inalis mo to sa series natin, yung sum pa rin ng series natin ay magko-converge. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung gustong sabihin yan. Conversely, if uh, the sum of the series converges for any k greater than 1, so, then yung the sum of uh, a sub n, pag sinama na ulit natin si uh, 1, n equals 1 hanggang k, k minus 1, magko-converge pa rin yung series natin. Okay? So, we have the following example. So, suppose we have the sum of 1 all over 5 raised to n. Okay, so hiniwalay natin yung first three terms base dun sa previous na ito, na statement, ito pa rin ay magko-converge. Okay, and then similarly, if we have the sum of 
uh, 1 all over 5 raised to n, n equals 4. Pag binawasan natin siya, nito, magko-converge pa rin siya. Okay, and then itong series natin na to ay still convergent. Okay? Okay, so we have here another statement. The convergence or divergence of a series is not affected by its first few terms. Tama nga naman, kasi yung first few terms naman na yun ay finite. Ano? So kung convergent man o divergent yung series natin, ah, hindi rin siya ganun ka laki ng epekto. Okay? Okay. Ah, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. We move on to the re-indexing. Ah, if it happens na yung dalawang series natin ay magkaiba ng index, pwede tayo mag-perform ng re-index. Re-indexing. Or kung yung geometric series, mukhang geometric series siya, pero hindi siya nagsisimula kay n equals 1, so hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula natin, pwede tayo mag-re-index. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, so we have here the sum of a n, n equals 1 up to infinity, is just equal to the sum of a sub n minus h, uh, n equals 1 plus h all over infinity. Okay, basically, yung idinadagdag mo sa index natin ay ibabawas mo naman dito. Okay? Kung nagdagdag tayo, magbabawas tayo dito. Okay? Ganun lang siya, kadali. So, we have here an example. So, pwede naman tayo mag... Ah, hindi pa pala siya example, no? So, pwede naman natin gamitin yung opposite natin. So, pag nagbawas tayo dito, magdadagdag naman tayo dito. Okay? So, that what re-indexing is. Okay, so pwede tayo, pag nagdagdag tayo dito, magbabawas tayo dito and then pag nagbawas tayo, magdadagdag naman tayo which leads to the same sequence. Ano, that is what you call re-indexing. Kung gusto mo, kung baka yung series natin, nag start kay n equals 3. So, para mag-start siya kay n, uh, n equals 1, magmaminus lang tayo ng 2 and then dun sa an natin or magiging ano na siya a sub n plus 2. Okay? Okay, so we saw this re-indexing. So, ginawa na natin ito kanina dun sa geometric series natin kanina. We're in, instead of starting with n equals 1, nag-start tayo kay uh, n equals 0. So, nagbawas tayo ng isa. So, meaning, nagdagdag tayo dun sa exponent natin. Kaya, naging AR raised to n na lang siya. Whenever our geometric series starts with n equals 0. Okay, ginawa na natin yung kanina. Okay, and then we have here our example. So, we can write the geometric series the sum as... The sum of uh, two raised, 1 all over 2 raised to n minus 1. So, nag-start tayo kay 1. Okay? Pwede natin siyang isulat as like this. Okay? So, n equals 1 siya nagsimula. So, magbabawas tayo ng 1. So, magkakaroon tayo ng n equals 0. So, yung binawas natin dito sa index, uh, idadagdag natin dun sa dito. So, yung n minus 1 natin plus 1 natin magiging n na lang siya. So, we have 2 raised to n. And then, ganun din dito, ano? So, from n equals 1, naging n equals 5. So, ano nangyayari? Nagdagdag tayo ng 4. So, since nagdagdag tayo ng 4 sa index natin, magbabawas uh, naman tayo ng 4 dito. Magkakaroon tayo ng n minus 1 minus 4, which is equal to n minus 5. Okay? Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 2 raised to n minus 5. And then, pwede rin tong, uh, pwede rin tayo mag-start sa negative 4. So, ilan yung binawas natin dito? From n equals 1, naging negative 4. So, nag-minus tayo ng negative 5. Okay? So, since nag-minus tayo ng negative 5, magdadagdag naman tayo ng uh, negative 5. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng n minus 1 minus negative 5, which is equal to n plus 4. Hence, we have the following re-indexing. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-re-index. Okay? Okay, so this one is, ano to, no? parang important siyang con concept kasi nga, kung baga mag a tayo ng dalawang series na magkaiba yung index, uh, we just perform re-indexing para magpareho silang nag-start sa n equals 1. Okay, or kung saan nyo man gusto mag-start. Basta kailangan pareho sila ng pag i -startan. Okay? So, uh, I think that's it for our module 3. So, if you don't have any more, if you have questions uh, kindly send me a message na lang via email or messenger and then i will upload 
your PDF copy uh, after one hour. Okay, see you and goodbye.